Hey guys, it's a sunny Sunday afternoon here in Oregon and I have just completed work on a project I've been tinkering with for the last few weeks. Uh, this is my poor man's motorized camera slider. And what this does is uh, it gives motion to my time-lapse camera shots. Now you can achieve simulated motion by introducing pan, tilt, and zoom to a movie project, but when you do that, the foreground and the background move at the same speed, and at least to my eyes, it's really noticeable. So I actually wanted to do some real motion, introduce some real motion to my shots. So I didn't, uh, just being the amateur photographer that I am, I didn't want to spend a huge amount of money on this. There are commercially available ones. Uh, so I built this one with spare parts I had around the shop. Uh, actual bits and pieces that I had to buy amounted to about 50 bucks. Uh, a lot of this stuff I already had though, so. And just the overall design. This right here is a two-stage drawer slide. And I have these in my shop. They've been sitting in here for probably 10 years. And uh, the, other, the other day I just got the idea to turn one into a, a camera slider. So uh, it actually moves about 5 foot 6 inches. Uh, that's the motion of the actual drawer slide. But uh, the lead screw that I got was uh, the way I have it set up. It actually only moves about 5 feet. So it'll telescope the camera 5 feet out from this location. The drawer slide is supported with two tripods, and these are just cheap tripods. I uh, actually happen to have these already. I actually have three, so I, I haven't, uh, haven't lost the use of all my tripods, but these are actually attached with just quick release, standard quick release camera plates here, so it's easily disassembled. And because I got one tripod at each end, I can actually adjust the angle that I want the camera to travel at. On this end, where the camera is, uh, right now I have my GoPro Hero 3 on here. Uh, this is just a standard quick release camera plate with a ball swivel on it so I can adjust uh, to compensate for the angle of the actual camera track. And the GoPro's internal battery, at least the standard battery, only lasts about an hour and a half. And of course I wanted to do time lapses, you know, three, four, five, or six hours. So I rigged it up with a battery eliminator and it runs off of this three amp hour LiPo battery. Just an extra battery I had lying around. And this should actually run the camera for, it'd probably run it for 24 hours. There's actually quite a bit of power there. On the motor end, what I've got here, I bought this from Amazon. I think it was eight or nine bucks. It's a five RPM, 12 volt DC gear motor. So at 12 volts, it turns at five RPM. And to power it, I have this pulse width modulated power supply. And then that is also powered with a three amp hour lipo battery. So when I turn this on, as you can see the motor is moving now at about 5 rpm. It's turning this lead screw right here which is connected to a threaded uh, uh, nut inside of here and that telescopes this whole section right here out that the camera is attached to. And if we watch this for just a second you'll see just a small bit of motion going on right here. The way I have it set up right now with the RPM that it's turning at, it'll take about five hours to run those five feet. And so I'm planning on doing a time lapse of about four hours right here. Now there are, are a few disadvantages to my design here. Uh, one is that this thing is incredibly heavy. This drawer slide was meant to hold, you know, many hundreds of pounds. I don't know exactly how much, but uh, it is not a light piece. Now that means that this is not very portable. It's not something that I would want to try and carry a long distance up into the woods. Uh, but that extra weight is also kind of an advantage too. I'm not worried about this assembly blowing over in a big gust of wind. It's really, it's not going to move. I would be perfectly fine leaving this set up in 50 mile an hour winds. Another disadvantage is that I don't have any limit switches on this. So when it reaches the end of the travel, the motor just stops. And because of the pulse width modulated power supply, it actually it won't overheat or anything like that, but it's not a very elegant way of stopping the motion to just let it run out to the end of its travel. I do have a reed type limit switch that I bought to put on here, but it's just something that I haven't incorporated yet. 
And another disadvantage of using this type of motor and power supply is this motor will slow down as the load increases. And as this first stage reaches the end of its stops and it starts telescoping out the second stage, then the motor is actually going to slow down just a little bit. And I've taken some measurements and it slows down by about a half of an RPM. So we're talking about a 10% loss in speed. And uh, I haven't done any time lapses with this yet, so I don't know how noticeable that's going to be. I hope it's just going to look like the, the frame rate slowed down a little bit halfway through the video. Uh, but if it doesn't, then I'll have to figure out how to correct it. So that's an overview of my design here for my motorized camera slider. And my son and I are going to pack this up on top of the hill. It's a really nice day today. We're going to set it up and point it out uh, toward the west. And the sun will be setting in the southwest sky. So we're going to go ahead and do a time lapse and watch the sunset over Tillamook Head. up here in several hours and check it out. Well we've had our time lapse rig up on the hill right up here for the last several hours. We're gonna go ahead and walk up and pick it up and see what we got. What do you think we're gonna find up there kiddo? Elk. Elk. Maybe the elk knocked over the time lapse rib. Coyotes. Coyotes? Maybe the coyotes tore it up. Probably not. Hey, it looks like it worked. Perfect. Still taking photos, too. That's pretty good scenery up here. Hopefully our time-lapse rig got some good shots as it was uh, as the sun was setting. <laughs> 